Hi, my name is Owen. And I'm Gavin. During this video, we'll be presenting our project for the Angel City Flyers Air Prize Competition 2018. We'll be basing our project on TAS 7, the four-stroke engine of an aircraft. In a spark ignition engine, the ignition system provides a spark that ignites the fuel-air mixture in the cylinders and is made up of magnetos, spark plugs, high-tension leads and an ignition switch. A magneto uses a permanent magnet to generate an electrical current, completely independent of the aircraft's electrical system. The magneto generates sufficiently high voltage to jump a spark across the spark plug gap in each cylinder. The system begins to fire when the starter is engaged and the crankshaft begins to turn. It continues to operate whenever the crankshaft is rotating. Most standard certificated aircraft incorporate a dual ignition system with two individual magnetos, separate sets of wires and spark plugs to increase reliability of the ignition system. Each magneto operates independently to fire one of the two spark plugs in each cylinder. The firing of the two spark plugs improves combustion of the fuel-air mixture and results in a slightly higher power output. If one of the magnetos fails, the other is unaffected. The engine continues to operate normally, although a slight decrease in the engine power can be expected. The same is true if one of the two spark plugs in the cylinder fails. The burning fuel within the cylinders produces intense heat, most of which is expelled through the exhaust system. Much of the remaining heat, however, must be removed or at least dissipated to prevent the engine from overheating. Otherwise, the extremely high engine temperature can lead to loss of power, excessive oil consumption, detonation and or serious engine damage. While the oil system is vital to the internal cooling of the engine, an additional method of cooling is necessary for the engine's external surface. Most small aircraft are cooled using air or liquid. Air cooling is accomplished by air flowing into the engine compartment through openings at the front of the engine cowling. Baffles route this air over fins attached to the engine cylinders and other parts of the engine where the air absorbs the engine heat. Expulsions of the hot air takes place through one or more of openings in the lower aft portion of the engine cowling. The outside air enters the engine compartment through an inlet behind the propeller hub. Baffles directed to the hottest part of the engine, primarily the cylinders which have fins that increase the area exposed to the airflow. The air cooling system is less effective during the ground operations, takeoffs, going arounds and other periods of high power, low air speed operation. Conversely, high speed descents provide excess air and can shock the cool engine, subjecting to abrupt temperature fluctuations. Carburetors are normally calibrated at sea level air pressure where the correct fuel air mixture ratio is established with the mixture control set in full rich position. However, as altitude increases, the density of air entering the carburetor decreases, while the density of the fuel remains the same. This creates a progressively richer mixture that can result in engine roughness and appreciable loss of power. The roughness normally is due to spark plug fouling from excessive carbon buildup on the plugs. Carbon buildup occurs where the mixture is too rich and lowers the temperature inside the cylinder, inhibiting complete combustion of the fuel. This condition may occur during the run-up prior to takeoff at high elevation airports and during climbs or cruise flights at high altitudes. To maintain the correct fuel-air mixture, the mixture must be leaned using the mixture control. Leaning the mixture decreases fuel flow, which compensates for the decreased air density at high altitude. During a descent from high altitude, the fuel-air mixture must be enriched or it may become too lean. An overly lean mixture causes detonation, which may result in rough engine operation, overheating and or a loss of power. The best way to maintain the proper fuel air mixture is to monitor the engine temperature and enrich the mixture as needed. Proper mixture control and better fuel economy for fuel injected engines can be achieved by using an exhaust gas temperature gauge. Since the process of adjusting the mixture can vary from one aircraft to another, it is important to refer to the airplane flight manual or the POH to determine the specific procedures for a given aircraft. Echo, 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 echo,